I ate at a vegan restaurant and I got this honest kids honesty. I think that's what I think that's what they mean by I'm a child at heart because you know how children they're so honest, they're so blunt. They they just speak their minds without without considering the other person's feelings. It's kind of like my philosophy. That's why I think I'm childish in that way. I'd rather be brutally honest than tell a white lie. Of course, um, try it maybe not too brutal. Maybe, maybe for example, your friend has some spinach in, in her teeth. You don't go like, hey, everyone, look, she has spinach in your teeth. That's kind of, it's honest, but it's brutal. <laughs> maybe a better way would be to call the person quietly, um, separate them and say it in a private manner. Hey. You got some something in your teeth? Just looking out for you. I don't want to embarrass you or anything. I think that would be a better method. I notice how beautiful our Earth is. We're just one big planet. This whole thing's like one giant mass of land. This whole thing too. It's one. But then, if you look at what humanity's done. Nope, we divided ourselves segregated ourselves what's yours is yours what's mine is mine you can't enter if you weren't born here pretty messed up i think baked cheese tarts i'm here at baked uh, westfield mall san francisco chocolate So the outer layer is pretty crispy, while the while the inside is moist and soft. What's up, guys? That basically took me like an hour to find one jacket. It takes me forever to decide, but I think it was worth it. Pretty cool, right? Let me know what you guys think. Like 200 bucks. Bad boy wearing this. I know it's just psychological, but. When you wear something, subconsciously you become that. If you wear a business suit, you feel more professional. When you wear a hoodie, you feel more casual. Oh, look at that. What is that? Let's go. Art. Nature. And I'm back to the hoodie. <laughs> it's just too cold. So yeah, I'm in the middle of the forest. Specifically, the AIDS Memorial Park uh, in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco. Kind of scary here at night, but it's pretty cool how they made, made a memorial for those who died um, who have AIDS. You can see that there's a big circle with names of the donor. I think the donors or the victims. In the middle, there's flowers for the AIDS, the victims of AIDS. Nice flowers here. Basically, wear protection <laughs> if you don't want to get disease or you have to know for sure that your partner doesn't have the disease. Trust me, STD is not fun. <laughs> There's gonorrhea, chlamydia, HPV, HIV. Some of them aren't curable. Some of them even cause cancer, like cervical cancer, if you don't treat it. Here's an ethical question for you. If you had HPV, human papilloma virus, basically 80 to 90% of sexually active people have HPV. Most of them, most of them don't, don't even know it because a lot of the times there's no symptoms, but sometimes the symptoms could be having genital warts. They look like uh, little moles. So the ethical question is, if you were a carrier of HPV, but you had no symptoms and 80% of the population already have it, and you met someone like in a bar or something, and she or he is super dreamy, super handsome or beautiful, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to hook up with that person. And you're making out already, kissing, and, and you got a hotel room already paid for the hotel, which is like, $300 and you're about to do it already, would you tell that person you had HPV? 
let's say that person is like a super hot celebrity once in a lifetime you'll never this this will never happen again you know sometimes it's so hard to be honest so hard to be transparent HPV isn't curable by the way you can get a vaccine for it but you can't cure it and the vaccine only works for people under a certain age I think it was 25 or let's flip the script what if um, that person that, that person told you and you've been together for like so many years and finally that person tells you they have HPV or what if it was HIV what would you do would you break up with them when is the right time to tell your partner during the first date during the fifth date right when you're about to do it after you do it probably not that's probably bad it's hard to be honest in this world huh full disclosure I don't have HIV I don't have AIDS I used to have the other STDs but I had the curable STD which only needs antibiotic which is gone now no more symptoms so ladies here at Twin Peaks Republic in San Francisco This is what it looks like in the daytime. So alive. Saturday. Sunny day. Instead of the beach like San Diego, they chill in parks in San Francisco. Salon. Yeah, this twice a year. Got some hot chocolate. Free taste, and then you can buy some. Who <laughs> sent us? You know, these ones are milk covered, they have milk and dark for sale. Three dollars a pair, or two pairs of five dollars. And then a single origin, sixty-nine percent dark Belgian blend. Okay. Sorry, dark chocolate raspberry and lemon. Pistachio cardamom with pistachio ganache, whatever that is. Mm. It's pretty sweet, right? So, white chocolate and lemon. They won so many awards. It's sort of the flavor sort of disappears right away. It doesn't linger. You know that uncomfortable feeling when the aftertaste of chocolate lingers? This one is like, it disappears. 